the first chord that we're going to do in the in the series is a major chord and uh, there's a difference between this and the, the major chord is that like I said before this has one extra note it is the seventh degree uh, so if we're dealing with the key of C we would be playing one three five and seven instead of just one three and five and that is what's called a major seven chord that is uh, is down here near the A position so it's near A and your index finger is going to go on the first fret on the third string over your middle finger is going to go on the fourth string on the second fret and then your uh, your ring finger is going to go on the second string on the second fret and this is all of them you can go ahead and hit them all and it's a really mellow kind of sounding chord and this is also swappable with a major chord so if you wanted something to contrast this against you could do it with a major a major a7 and then a major 7 or even a better order yet yeah, would be a a major 7 and then a7 you just lift this back finger here so you have sort of a descending note so you can use this chord in place of major chords not in all places but in most places you can. Go ahead for now and just use them anywhere you want, but eventually you'll find that there are some places, uh, such as the fifth position when you're doing progressions, it's called the dominant fifth position, where there has to be a seventh chord in order for it to work. But for right now, go ahead and, um, and use it in, uh, anywhere you want as far as where you would normally see a major chord. This next chord is B major seven. And we are going to use um, what we had originally used from A major 7, which was down here. And we're going to use the concept of, of moving it up two frets, okay, like we've been doing. So A is here, and then we've got A sharp, right? And then B is going to be the next fret up. So having said that, Let's get started. So we've got, we're holding down these three that were normally A major seven down here. We scooted them up two frets, okay? And now we're gonna substitute these fingers for three other fingers instead. So we're gonna, now we're going to substitute those fingers in for middle finger. So per the diagram, your middle finger is on the third string and the third fret, your, uh, your ring fingers on the fourth string in the third fret. I'm sorry, fourth fret. And your uh, your pinky finger, or your small finger, is on the second string in the fourth fret. And then you've got this finger back here um, on the on the uh, the fifth string on the second fret. And you're just going to play the middle four strings. So you're not going to play this string over here, and you're not going to play that one over here. You're just going to play the middle four. So let's try that. Middle four strings. Here we go. All we need. In fact, it's good to do chords like this to sort of distill them down to their essence and know what which one this is. This would be the one, this would be the seven, this would be the, the five, this would be the three, and so on. And know where these notes are because we can manipulate any of these uh, any of these notes in this chord at any time and get a different chord out of it, which is pretty cool. So there's uh, B major 7. You can swap it out with B major. Try it with B7. See you in the next chord. Okay, this next chord is C major 7. And um, this, is, this is fairly easy. It's very easy, actually, for a jazz chord, or at least the, the version that I'm going to show you is going to be really easy. We're going to do something a little simpler than that. And, uh, we go back to basics, the bass chords, remember C the bass chord. Let's go back and do that. Everybody remembers that. People that are a little further behind, let's give them a little more time to catch up. And all we're going to do is lift up your index finger. Boom, that's it. And you're playing a C major 7. And this chord can be swapped out for major chords or 7 chords. Of course, you know discerningly sounds good, it is good. Just 
go in there and make sure all the strings are coming out. You're pushing really hard. That sounded a real hard one. Per the diagram, uh, just give it a shot, see if you can do it, and um, you can you can put it together with a C major and check out the contrast and see how the two um, complement each other. It's kind of neat. See you in the next chord. The next chord we're going to do is called D major seven, and D major seven is down where D is. If you remember D major from the first fundamental series, the bass chords, D was down here like this. D major seven is just these three strings held down by this one finger, okay? And the bottom string here, just like with D, is off limits, so you're not going to hit that, but you're going to hit. Make sure all the strings are coming out clear. Adjust your hand position. Just kidding. You're just holding down one string, so it shouldn't be that bad. If you do need to adjust your hand position, go ahead and adjust it around a little bit. Some people like to, you know, sort of come in uh, like this, Some people like come from the back or whatever. But at any rate, uh, you can do it any way you want. They're all fine. See you in the next chord. Okay, this next chord is E major 7 and is in the same area as E major, down at the bottom, uh, the first fret that is. And what we're going to do is you're going to put your index finger on the, uh, on the fourth string on the first fret, you're going to put your, your, uh, your middle on the third string on the first fret, and then you're going to put your ring finger on the fifth string on the second fret. And this is an all of them chord, so there's no restrictions, go ahead and hit them all. Contrast that with E, and then back to E major 7, E7, so you can kind of sort of come up with, um, with a line based on those three forms. E major 7, E7, and uh, just plain old E. See you in the next chord. Okay, this is uh, F major 7. But before we do F major 7, all of those who've been waiting around for the F7 chord, uh, you get your time now. Um, the F7 chord is going to be here. It's going to start up here, so we're not going to be doing it down here where we did the rest of the bass chords in the beginner's video. Um, it's going to be up around here. That's kind of like why I wanted to save it, because we're kind of doing the same thing uh, with the major 7 form that we're doing here. We're kind of doing the same thing with the with the 7 form that I'm going to show you. And if you remember the B major 7 form that was like this, so let's go back and look at that one more time, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to use the B major 7 form, and if you haven't downloaded the chord sheets, please do so. It helps a lot. What we're going to do is take all of these notes and move them in this direction down, okay? So one, one set adjacent string, so Move them over, and then move them one fret up. Now when you do that, that's an F7 chord. And from those movements and so on, don't try and put too much together right now. Um, that's just a little trick uh, to get you in the right place so you can do the chord. Okay, now what's cool is, is we can do the same thing. We can go, okay, this is F7. All right, if we look at the piano, F sharp is, is a half step above F, so just slide this up to here. So that's an F sharp seven, and then we slide it up one half step again, now we're on G, so that's a G seven. Slide it up again, G sharp seven, slide it up again, A seven, which is the same as our A seven. Down here, same notes, different tones, different voicings, different sounds, but the same stuff. So there's F seven. Give it a shot, make sure all the strings are coming out and so on, and uh, let me know what happens. F major 7 is, uh, is related or kind of looks like the F chord that we were doing um, in the fundamental series of the, the major F, where we held down both of these up here, 
um, and then these two here like this, okay? There was another one that we, we had uh, two going over here as well. This time we're just going to ladder it to about here, okay? And we're also not going to have to worry about holding down both of these bottom ones. We're going to arch this up so it's just holding down the second string and the first fret only. So the first string, first fret, the first string here is open. And then it just stair steps down. This is F major 7. seven. Just make sure uh, all the strings are coming out. Uh, you're pushing hard. Push on the tips of your fingers only. Um, move your hands around to uh, get different positions and find the one that's best for you and, uh, and go from there. Because everyone's hands built differently and um, they have certain predispositions to prevent them from doing certain things. So if you have one of those predispositions, don't feel bad. So does everybody else and we all try our best to, uh, to do what we can. See you in the next chord. Okay, this next chord is G major 7, and per the diagram, you'll see that you're going to put your index finger down here, the same place it was when you were doing the G minor chord. You're going to put your middle finger up on the second string on the third fret. Your ring finger is going to be here on the, uh, the fourth string on the fourth fret and then you've got the, the uh, third string on the fourth fret with your, with your little finger. And um, just like the G minor chord, this chord, uh, per the diagram too, has a muted string in the midst of the notes. And you're going to have to just break over that and ignore it. It's no big deal. Um, takes a little practice. Just remember, you don't want this A string to be coming out. You just want it to sound like that. So when you rake over it, that's all you should hear. And the, the top string, the E, should be muted out with the skin on the back of, of this finger here. So that's a G major 7. Its root is here on the 3rd fret. Contrasted with G. So they're both very close, very close cousins. Remember, this is just an extension of of the regular G, the traditional G. Thanks for watching the Major 7 series. Minor 7 series is coming up next. Stay tuned.